you can't just keep it, you go. You want to get off on this kind of music. I'm out here in the morning on a Tuesday morning on the Deadwood Plain with Eddie Duff. Eddie works for the Santalina National Trust. He's probably the world's foremost expert on wire birds. He's going to show us a little bit about the bird's behavior. He's going to show us one of his friendly bird's nests who he has a relationship with and we can approach very closely. There's only 322 of the little buggers. They're cute. They call them wire birds because they have long legs. We had eight endemic birds and this is the only one down. This one managed to survive. So it's a very hardy bird. What are some of the birds that you've lost? Uh, we had some patrols, some cuckoos, some pigeons, and yeah. some shearwaters. But that was back in the day. I say, if you didn't know where the nest was, you would never find it. So what's this bird doing now? Right now, she's just making sure that we don't take her eggs. She's keep covering her, covering her eggs up. You see where her little feet, her little feet moving like, like so? Uh-huh. You want to go look at, you want to go look at the eggs? Uh, we lost census count we did, there's 322. They're single adult birds. And by far that's critically endangered. And uh, what do you think is the biggest threat to the wire bird on Simply? Uh, my opinion, it has to be invasives. Invasive species are plants that come to it, but people bring to the island and then starts to regenerate themselves at such an alarm rate, it overpowers everything else. And with feral cats and the common monitor here, these places, these teas can hide and predate their chucks or the eggs. It's critical and dangerous, that means it's going downhill. You can't make reference to birds on one one count because you need to do it over a period of years and then you will actually will see if it comes up and goes down. Maybe you had a good season, maybe the climate was right. But right now, the main breeding season is over, but they're still nesting. And if you look to our right here, you'll find you've got two more birds out here. The bird here has a territory of 150 yards. Those in the far corner there, they have their own territory. If that one there comes into this territory here, then you hear, hear a lot of fighting going on. They're very territorial. Come to nesting, and when the eggs are starting to hatch, those two peers there will come here and help the spear here to take away the egg shells. Yeah, my name. We've finished the boat, we've sanded it down, we've applied the new anti-fouling, we've pulled off the tape and she's ready to go in the water and we are so happy. Here we are, another rainy morning out on the dock. You can see the boat there in the background. The guys are going to do their very best to put us back in the water safely. It's Thursday morning now. We've got this big chain sitting here next to me. And uh, that's the item that's going to lift the boat up and set us safely back at sea and get this ugly duckling into a swan again. in the water. The dock workers of St. Helena did it. They're true magicians at their work. This is the biggest boat that they lifted out. Not the heaviest, but the biggest, longest boat that ever came out here. And we're really, really thankful for their help. 